We're showing all of the different techniques. In wrestling, just like in jiu-jitsu, jiu -jitsu, you can do an arm bar from the guard, you can do it from the side. Now, same thing with wrestling. You can get single legs, double legs, and any other takedown from all the different types. We started off with the, uh, with the underhook. We went to uh, just controlling both arms from the inside tie. And uh, the natural progression now is to go to where both men are in the uh, under over position. And that's a clinch right here. And there's a way to get into this position. And usually, it's kind of natural. If you watch any fight, guys who've never, guys can be uh, black, black belt, 10th degree karate guys. And the minute someone lock, ties up, we're all, you always end up here. We're always in this position, the classic under overhook position, just like this, okay? This is always where we end up, pretty much most of the time. And the way to get into this, if you want it, is basically, just come, if you come up, and if I come right here to go underhook here, if I got an underhook on this side, he's right here, he comes in. A lot of times you can just underhook if we're boxing fight and get in. Except if I just get in here and he, come, he goes to charge me, he wants to grapple with me, he comes in. The thing I want to do is I want to keep this arm about right here. And all I want to do is try to get it to his chest. This way, or if he comes over, you know, like this, I'm still trying to go this way to come in here. If he just, if he goes over, I'll just get it here. But the other way, if he's in tight, and he's just coming in trying to grapple with me, the thing I want to do is I take my form, I put it on his chest, just like this. But one thing, it keeps him, it keeps him honest, basically me knowing that he's not going to drop down and do any doubles or singles, so I'm keeping him out. So now all I want to do is take this and just rotate it under to here. Okay, then I have this. And with this, if I want the classic, if I want the classic under over from here, this is what I have. If I want classic under over from here, I can just let him in. He'll just come in. He'll just come in. To right here. Okay? Okay, and it's important when we're trying to get these underhooks, like I was showing before, you don't want to just go into shift. Nobody's gonna let you just I mean, usually the guys let you just come in and, and underhook them like this and do what you want to do. It's probably not worth fighting, or the, the tournament that you're fighting in is probably not worth being in. He's a guy's a fish. If you're fighting a fish, you just come out and do whatever you want to do to him. If you got a, a, point, a, a opponent who's worth anything, the way to do it, he's like, when you come in and do this, he's not going to let you. So what I like to do, I like to get this here. Okay? From here, and I'm still controlling over here because I don't want to get hit. I'm still coming over here like this over here, controlling this arm right here. But this is the important thing right here. And I want to get this from under. And all I do is I rotate. I'm going to stand back so you can see it better. I'm going to rotate under here like this. My arm goes under. And I take the unhook from this position. Not like this. He's like, if I go to this, he's going to do that. Move out the way. But watch this. If I go on, if I go on like this and I'm pulling, look at my way. Look at, and notice how I'm, I'm pulling my neck too. I want everything nice and tight. Just in case he does try to attack my head. I'm not going to. If I'm like just like this, he's just going to. He can do all this kind of stuff. So I'm in nice and tight. I'm right here. Okay. I'm right here. Notice I myself. I got this pinch close to my body. So I'm right here. Now all I want to do is go, if he's, even if he's tight right here, he's kind of tight. If I get right here and go under it, I got it. Then I got the underhook. Okay? Let's show from the other angle. I'm right here. He's, he's trying to, I'm just doing this. Just put it over his arm right here. Because right now, if he goes to try to try to rebump, I'll try to come over here. I got it. See? He's going to have a choice to give it to me. And it's easy to get to that position. We're boxing right here. We'll in, we, go, we go to clinch right here. We're clenching. All I'm doing now is going here. So I'm over here. Say I'm in the position he's in. I go to clean. He goes, come over top. He's coming like this. All I'm going to do now is still take this out. And in wrestling, I'm going to tell you what I used to do in wrestling. If this wrestling, you know, you can't get too overly aggressive. But if the referee was standing there and not here, and I know he couldn't see what I was doing, and this guy was like this, all I would do is I would take my form and just bam it right in here or to his chest as hard as I could and then go under. Because the, the shock of me just pounding him with it, the guy kind of does this, and I just slip right in. One more time. Right in here like this. All I'm going to do is right here, and just go right here. And just sit right in the chest with this. My, my thumb. Just right here, and I take this under, and I got it. Okay? And I got this under right here. So basically with this, if I want him to have this side, if I say I, my, my game plan is to let him go, oh, no, I used to do this. You see, but then right now, I want the control position. I'm in here, and all I want to do is just dip my shoulder just a little bit. Okay? So I got this right here, and I dip my shoulder. The dip my shoulder means he's like this, because I'm under here like this. My shoulder's right here. Look what I'm Right here. Now I got control position. I got good control. I'm not just sitting here square. If we're sitting here square like this, it's anybody's game. 
It's 50-50 right now. It's even. He's the same place I am. We're both sides. We're the same thing. We're playing the same game. So I want to get a slight advantage. So all I'm going to do is just kind of dip my shoulder just a little bit. Right here. Now I got the control position. Right here it's harder to get my hand back up here, but that's okay too. As long as I keep it jacked up in here. So I'm right in here. Lift this under. Okay? Okay, from the arm, from the uh, tie, the first move I want to show is an arm drag. And the, some of the guys at the top team, especially like Vitor Belfort, became very successful using this move, especially in the moment against the other guys, because they didn't know what he was hitting them with. So, uh, in another, the move was basically what uh, the U.S. team, what we picked up from the Russians. We were doing arm drags, and the Russians started doing this other arm drag that proved to be more successful than what we were doing, okay? And all that's happening is, we're tied like this. And what they started doing to us was they would come out, they would come out and control the wrist. Okay? Once they had wrist control, they would just pull the wrist down to their waist and be kind of sneaky about it. We're not, we're both wrapped up, we're like this. Okay? And all they would do is just basically come out of here. And once they got this, they would pull it down to their, to their, to their, uh, their, uh, to their waist. Okay? And with this hand right here, all I want to do is from this side over here, kind of do a sneak attack. But I'm going to do a sneak attack on this arm with this arm. So notice that this leg is forward right now, okay? Because I'm going to be using this as part of this move. I'm right here. All I'm going to do is take this arm right here and swipe. I call swipe the belly. I'm going to swipe his belly with my hand. The back of my hand, I'm going to swipe. And I'm using the, not the front of my hand, not the side. The back of my hand, I'm going to swipe his belly. And the reason I say swipe is because I want to leave this up. I'm right here. So all I'm going to do is right here, get this foot forward. Go ahead and swipe the belly. Right here. I've taken this back. Okay, from right here, just come in here and do a slice of Okay, and this move works really well in NHB uh, fighting, especially when you're in, a, in the clinch position. Because what I'm doing is, remember when I said I swipe the belly? The one thing, the important thing about swiping the belly is that I leave my elbow up when I do it. I'm not just doing this. If I just do this, he's going to take my back. He's going to be drowning from my chair. Okay? But if I leave my elbow up, so I'm swiping right here. Notice we're tied up like this. I leave my elbow where it is when I swipe the belly. I leave it there and do this. I do it rather quickly too. But remember, this hand over here though, I got this down in my waist. And one thing about this, if you keep it here, nobody's gonna, they're not gonna, your opponent's not gonna suspect anything. He's gonna let you stay right in here. If I do it right here, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna, oh, he's doing something. So keep it right here, okay? And all I'm doing is controlling right here, got my underhook. I'm gonna swipe the belly. And notice this leg, notice I cheated. I'm not putting this leg back here. I'm gonna cheat up a little bit and put it right here and have it going in the direction that I'm gonna be going. And that's right between his legs. Okay, so let's go back over here from this angle. So I'm right here. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swipe the belly. Nice and slow, right here. And I grab the arm up on this side. And once I grab it, I'm gonna come back and show this other side. So once I grab, once I grab this arm right here, from the, from the belly right here, I come over here and grab it here. Okay, now I got all the control in the world. This is still up. Okay, so you can't like take my back. So I'm right here. Nick Ryan. Okay? So come back from here. So we'll come back to that. Swipe the belly. And I take this. Grab arm right here. Now that I have this, one clean swipe. I'm gonna do three things at once here. So pay attention. I'm gonna take this. This hand right here, this hand right here is more or less just the guide. This right here is the power hand. This is what pulls. I want this whole torso to turn. I can't turn this torso with this. I can turn this torso with this. This is the guide. Without this, if I go to do it, his, his hands are going to get stuck right here. It's going to jam against my stomach. So I'm right here. I swipe the belly to here. Now, one clean swipe. I just pull this all the way through here, letting go with the, with the, uh, with the uh, guide hand, and I step. And all I'm stepping, I'm step, I'm still pulling over here. Okay, watch. I'm right here, I swipe. I'm still pulling. See, when I pull, I pull his, his body over my leg, his leg over my leg. And right here, just keep pulling. He's right here. Then I cover. One more time, from this side. Watch my leg. I'm gonna go to sweep right here. Notice I pull my leg. Now watch, but watch this hand right here. Watch this. When I got this right here, I'm pulling. I don't have to worry about him getting away right now. I can let go of this. Because look, he's off balance. He's more trying to get both his hands down to the mat.
to, re to regain his balance. So I'm right here, I just go here. And I'll probably go here and here to a, to a spiral ride. It's easier and it's less difficult and I don't get myself in any trouble. Okay? One more time. From this angle, then the other angle. Okay? Right here. All I'm doing is just go right here. With my elbow, staying up, same, same position as in. Right here. And go here, right here, right here. I do three things at one time. I pull with this, I guide with this, and I step with this leg. And I just pull his body over my knee. Like this. Okay? Let me see. Right here. This movement looks fairly complicated, but if you do it a few times, you get it down. I sold it to a couple, I sold it to Beatrice Belford one day in practice. The next day he was killing guys with it, and everybody wanted to learn it because all, we were clinched in here, you know, we're doing a little boxing, we clinched right here, and he was taking guys down because they, they weren't ready for it. We're just going right here, trying to kind of sneak in. The sneak thing with this is remember, take this to here, leave it right here at your hip. If I'm fighting you, if I leave, got your hand on your hand on my hip right here, you're not going to think too much, okay? And I'm sneaking up with this foot. I'm not back here. Remember, my hip because all I want to do is be nice and close. So when I come in here, when I swipe the belly, I put you right over my leg. I keep pulling to here, and I go behind. Okay? One more time, fast. I'm still here. 